Good evening, everyone. This is beer review number seven. Uh, tonight, this beer comes from a company out of Dover, Delaware. It's called uh, Fordham and Dominion Brewing Company. Um, on the bottle, it states that it was bottled by the um, Old Dominion Brewing Company. Um, the website is uh, pretty uh, aesthetically pleasing as well. The one tonight that we're going to be discussing is the Double D IPA. It's the double IPA that they have brewed here. Um, the packaging and everything is pretty interesting to say the least, but you know what they're trying to get at. So we have a 8% alcohol by volume and 90 IBUs. We have, um, it's been rated the best IPA at the Atlantic City Beer Festival. Um, it uses Munich chocolate malts. Um, it uses Zythos Crystal and Citra and Bravo hops. Um, the availability is year-round in 12-ounce bottles, draft, and in the pin-up pack. Um, pretty much uh, it's a six-pack. Anyway, um, as I look at this beer, I have had it before. It's a decent beer. Um, I would suggest that you drink it. Um, it is on the bitter side for some of us, um, but I like that. Uh, this Double D, um, which is the Double IPA. Um, to me, when I first had it, it had some hints of citrus in it. Um, I honestly don't know what the full aroma uh, profile is, but I will go onto the website to look at that a little bit more after I open up the bottle. So, <clears throat> one second. Before for this evening, we're going to use a Star Wars glass that we got at one of the movies. We went to go see one of the most recent Star Wars movies. Cheers. Oh, that's a beautiful head in my. Not a transparent beer. Um, this double IPA. Yes, it uh, has phenomenal smells of citrus. Um, let's go to the actual website. Um, I'll put the link in below as for the Fordham and Dominion Brewing Company. Um, the Double D, as they rate on their website, is a full-bodied Imperial Indian Pale Ale. Um, it says it's flaunting sultry guava, mango, and tropical fruit aromas, and as a result of dry hopping with citra, xythos, and crystal hops, which I already mentioned. Um, brewed with a light toasted malt, so you have a little bit of a, I'd say a smoky flavor that they're hinting at. And Bravo Bittering Hops. This double delights with smooth warming alcohols and a torrid finish. So. For a beer that you can enjoy on a regular, I'd say that I would give this a 7 out of 10. Um, for the actual aromas, 8 out of 10, and then for overall flavor and um, appeal, I would uh, give it an 8 out of 10. For beer review number 7, I suggest that, um, again, like always, that you drink in moderation. Um, this beer review at the end will also have uh, the links um, probably over here, and we're also right down here, and a subscribe button right here, which will um, pretty much... Uh, go over uh, the video that I did today. This is a video that's going to be under my life playlist and it's going to show you how I make um, a nacho cheese tortilla dough for pizza and also a ranch hot wing uh, tortilla chip dough for pizza as well. Um, I used the dough this evening to make um, pigs in a blanket or pretzel dogs if you know what I mean from Auntie Anne's or one of those places like such. So I will uh, repeat where those uh, links and icons will be. Uh, let's taste this beer. Yeah. It is very citrusy and I'll stay at eight out of 10 for overall appeal. Uh, the beer is decently priced. Um, it's not a everyday drinking beer. You can probably get a six pack and make it last for a week or two. Um, the bitterness is up there, um, which explains the 90 IBUs. 
um, eight percent alcohol. You don't really feel it as much um, if you're um, taking it in moderation and taking it slow. Um, but overall color is just let's just pull that up there for you. Overall color is just gorgeous. Um, and recently, I seen a meme that uh, stated that IPAs are the pumpkin spice lattes for men, and uh, essentially. That's what it is. <laughs> you can almost do anything to an IPA and um, ferment it in many multiple different ways. Um, but it's a delicious beer, so why knock on it? Why hate on it? But I guess we hate on people that drink pumpkin spice lattes around November, so we can hate on this as well. Um, again, uh, the subscribe button will be right here up in this corner. Uh, suggested video. Yeah be right up here on this right corner here and then down here in below will be the video that I'm going to upload later for about the uh, different types of pizza dough that I created today. In that uh, video you'll have recipes on how to create it yourself. It's uh, a thing that I've been trying to refine for the last two years. Uh, so far the, the nacho cheese tortilla chip dough does work wonderfully for a pizza on the um, recipe that I did today for the uh, pretzel dogs which was not really a pretzel bun it was just the dough wrapped around with the nacho cheese tortilla chip dough it was delicious um, the flavor oh, was baked out of it a little bit but the color was phenomenal and out of this world um, you'll see that uh, glimpse of those uh, hot dogs in the, that video so again uh, thank you for liking commenting and subscribing and to those eight people that have subscribed to my channel I thank you and um, I wish you a good evening have a good night